Ross Petty Productions is offering a unique take on the classic tale of Sleeping Beauty at the Elgin Theatre this holiday season. And joining us now are the stars of the musical, A.J. Bridell and James Daly. Thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. You literally finished a performance tonight and came right over here, so we really appreciate you being here. Oh, Thanks for having us. To be here. <laughs> How was it tonight? Yeah. It was pretty good. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a packed house. <laughs> yeah. and they were there to have fun. They were laughing a lot. Yeah. Good. This good. is your first time in a Ross Petty production. It must be, you know, quite the honor to be a part of this because it is really a holiday tradition for so many families. Yeah, for sure. You start feeling it too. You see the kids that come, you know, to the show and who talk sometimes in the, in the show and say that this is their fourth time coming to a Ross Petty show and they're mm -hmm. only like seven years old and you mm -hmm. think, wow, this is such a massive tradition and such a huge part of the, the culture here in Toronto at this time of year. Yeah. So because people do come every year, some people who aren't familiar with Ross Petty mm -hmm. Productions, how would Sleeping Beauty differ from what they're used to seeing? <laughs> I don't know. I, I saw my first Ross Petty, Petty production last year, mm -hmm. the Peter Pan in Wonderland, and that's, I guess, when I got the sense of the legacy that is Ross Petty, mm -hmm. because I saw him doing his Captain Hook and his, like, descent into the treasure chest and singing, like, his farewell song, and everybody was kind of, like, really uh, verklempt at this moment, and yeah. I was like, this is a huge deal, his, like, final show yeah. and his goodbye to everyone. It, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a huge uh, tradition to be a part of, and I guess our show is really different than yeah. last year's. Yeah, I mean, it, it, well, Sleeping Beauty, our version, still has the classic. It still has elements of the classic story. It's still familiar to people who know the story of Sleeping Beauty. Um, but there's so many new twists. It's there's modern, you know, um, pop culture references all over the place, and obviously, as we know with Panto tradition, there's audience interaction and things that um, you may or may not expect from our traditional Sleeping Beauty story. Hmm. For sure, and you mentioned Ross Petty. Last year was his final show on stage, but of course, he's still running the production. Yeah. But you oh, have yeah. Hilary Farr this year, which is a huge treat for anybody who watches HGTV and watches her show. Yeah. Uh, she plays the villain in this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's super cool. She's awesome. Really? She, yeah, she's so we're, I'm so surprised she's so sweet and she's so funny and kind yeah. and she's a great person to have around rehearsal. And then when she's on stage and she's turning it on. So easy to boo. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is right in it every time. I like, know, tonight was crazy. It doesn't take much. They didn't stop booing no, her tonight they for were a long just time. <laughs> no. <laughs> People get into it. People get into it. You watch... It happens so quickly, mm -hmm. right? You watch the audience realize yeah. that they can they can throw their traditional, you know, um, theater etiquette out the window and start booing Hillary Farr. Whoa! That's great. <laughs> um, and because you're in costume and there's so many kids there, do you ever get the chance to speak with them after the show as well and hear? I mean, because they're so taken by by you guys up on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, at the stage door, we get to meet a lot of kids after the show. We're not still in our costumes, so, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. But still, they recognize us. As soon as we come out, it's like, that's Luke and Rose. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so let's talk about Humbling. that. You play Sleeping Beauty. Yes. You play the prince. Mm -hmm. um, but there's always a slight twist, obviously, with any sort of Ross Petty show. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your characters and what we can expect. Okay. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I guess I'm not actually... A prince, his name is Luke, mm -hmm. and he's the castle lutist. So in our contemporary version, he plays the acoustic guitar. Very which nice. Is contemporary yes. prince charming. Very well, I might add. Oh, Thank wow. you so much. You are so welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, so he works at the castle and has kind of grown up with uh, the princess Rose. Yep. And now that they're like 17, 18 years old, he's kind of in love with her and tries to save her in the show, in the story, and they become... Well, you'll have to come to the show to see. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, give yeah, too yeah. much away. Don't yeah. too much. You don't have to give too but much yeah, away. But yeah, technically he's not a prince. He just is like kind of in love with Rose and works at the castle. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very charming. Well, it's always a hit, and we appreciate yes. the two of you coming in to tell us a bit about it. Um, it looks terrific as well, so it's on until January 7th mm -hmm. at the Elgin Theatre for anyone who wants to catch that. Thanks so much for coming in right thank after you. the show tonight. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. <laughs>